life. What's up guys, Tiny Tiger here with another video on reptiles. Today I'll be talking about what I feed my blue tongue skink and certain things you can look for and avoid on blue tongues. So as a stable diet, uh, well blue tongues in general, they're omnivorous they do tend to look for more uh, animal based protein more than uh, greens, vegetables, fruits, stuff like that so as a staple diet I do like to feed my um, premium, super premium dog food uh, the ones you can look for are 95% uh, meat or turkey all the ingredients start off as meat, meat broth, liver, and egg product, stuff like that. Uh, you want to avoid, you always want to do super premium. You want to avoid anything with like meat, um, just fillers in general. Uh, I think stuff to avoid also is like uh, spinach, onion, or garlic. Spinach is just... Uh, not the best. They can eat it. It's not the best for them. Uh, onions and garlic, I think, are toxic <clears throat> on some levels. So try and look in the ingredients. Try and avoid those. You also don't want to feed your blue tongues any red meat. They're not meant to digest red meat. And even monitors and tegus. I mean, they can eat red meat, but uh, it can cause liver and kidney damage. So that's not even something I would. I would go for always. I always go for either turkey or chicken. Those are the best, and they're leaner, of course. But um, so I have, like I said, I had the ninety-five percent meat one. You can do that and chop up your own types of vegetables and stuff in there if you want to add it in, or you can find another can that already has like some vegetables and whatnot cut into it. This one has turkey, cranberries, blueberries, and stuff like that. Uh, some things you can add into the into the um, into the meals for the blue tongue. I got some mangoes. This is mustard green. A staple green I like to use honestly is turnip greens. They have a better calcium to phosphorus ratio. Um, must and they're, and they're not harmful. Uh, mustard greens are just as you know just as healthy except. Just a slightly lower on the calcium to phosphorus ratio. Got some blueberries. These here are cactus pads. They're really good too. Good as staple vegetables or uh, greens. I like to chop them up and mix them into the dog food and you eat it. You got um, also butternut squash is also very good. Over here I have quail eggs. Any eggs at all you want to soft boil them. The whites found in, in eggs have a protein called avidin that, uh, what is it, that messes with biotin and that can cause issues. I mean, over time, it's very, it's very low amounts, so if you, if you feed them raw, just, you know, watch it, be, um, you know, moderate on that. Uh, also, quail eggs are definitely healthier than chicken eggs. Because chicken head eggs have more whites than they do yolk, while quail eggs have more yolk than it does white. So, with all of this, I'm going to go ahead and set up um, the dish for Miko, my blue tongue skink, and we can start the feeding. All right, here we are. I just finished preparing his uh, his meal. It's right here. That's some of the super premium dog food on some mustard greens. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so, uh, once a week, I like to give my blue tongue one of these quail eggs. It kind of broke right there. But, uh, doesn't matter. So, he likes to eat these eggs. Wait, let me focus it. Right, there you go. 
Alright, come on, come get your eggs. Or your egg. He just recently gave me a shed yesterday. It was interesting to watch him pull the shed off on his own. Normally he eats on the basking plate, but I need to watch out for any of the substrate. So, I'll get one of these. Just in case. Oh, look at that. Nice and juicy on the inside. Okay. Let's get some of this substrate off. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. I'm sorry, guys. Trying to watch him. Making sure he's not eating any of this substrate. Normally, I like to put it on, on here from the, but I kind of just pulled it away. There we go. We got it. There's one on you. Oh, let me get that. I got it. No. There you go. Gotcha. You're good. All right. All right. Uh, so, moving on to this here, I like to take a little bit, like one of these greens, wrap it up in uh, one of the food, and I'll feed it to them like this. So the previous owners that had this blue tongue said they were afraid to hand feed Miko, but because they were, they said he lunges pretty far and whatnot. And as you can see, I can hand feed him perfectly with no issue. Let's get another. He's hungry today. During his shed, he did not want to eat or anything. So, he pretty much missed one meal, so he should be hungry right now. He's going to want to eat. See, look at that. He doesn't, he doesn't lunge too far. He's a sweet, sweet blue tongue. He won't bite. And, I mean... The only time he ever did lunge too far and bit me, he realized my finger was not food and he let go. So, they have teeth, but they aren't sharp. And their bite force really isn't so strong where it's going to break skin or even bruise you. Don't be afraid. Work with them every day and... You can see some pretty good results from blue tongues. One of my top three that I've always wanted. I'm so glad that I found him. He's he's a he's an amazing lizard. Yeah, I just do this for a little bit until he stops taking from my hands. Bats for a little bit, then I'll put his uh, <clears throat> his little dish in here. And you'll come back to it throughout the day and finish up what's left. These guys really don't eat that often. I feed mine about uh, twice a week. Some people do it once once a week. Another thing I, uh, I failed to mention was um, some people can do dry dog food. I know I stated that I use wet. Some people can use dry. That's fine. It's all the same. Um, when people use dry, they, they tend to like to add a little bit of water to it to moisten the food. So you can, you can do that. It's a good option. Uh, the wet food may give them runny stools a little bit. Not going to be too solid. You're, you're missing the... Oh, okay. You can, yeah, figure it out. Just eat the greens. That's a good boy. Oh, there's your little piece right there. Not my finger. There you go. But, uh, yeah, definitely wet or dry, either way works. Uh, there's some people who do even, that even do, uh, raw meat diets. 
You can do that. That's completely fine. Just make sure you guys stay away from. Uh, oops, sorry. You guys stay away from red meats. I honestly don't think red meats are good for them. Some people may do it. Their skinks may live good, healthy lives. It could just be my personal opinion and preference, but I I don't do red meats for them. I don't even eat red meats myself. Always turkey and chicken. Occasional eggs. Oh, and uh, when I do get them, hornworms. See, now he's at the point of where I think he doesn't want to take it from my hand anymore. So, maybe. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Anyways, uh, there's uh, occasional times where I do get hornworms. I'll let them get real fat and big, and I'll give him uh, hornworms. He likes superworms too. It's another good one that he eats. So they still go for insects. There you go. All right, guys, that will be that'll be it for today. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. I'll have another video up next week. Thanks, guys.